Okay, so if you're interested in how to code uh, in C sharp, well, this is uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, pretty much, I have uh, this coded in, in JavaScript. Uh, what you see is this tree that's growing in front of me, and I'll have this text come up when I come close to the tree. When I uh, move away from the tree, uh, uh, text goes away. It's been uh, replaced. And also, if I come close to the tree and then hit uh, the Q button where it says press Q button to cut this tree, if I hit the Q button, the tree will be cut within three seconds. That is what I'm going to show you how to code in C sharp. All right, this has been coded in, 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 in uh, JavaScript. So right now, I'm going to show you how to code it in, in C sharp. So if you like, uh, if you like this video, um, I mean, uh, if you're interested in watching this video, please do. And at the end, uh, please click on the uh, like. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. All right, thank you. And uh, let's start. Okay, so first thing is, I'm gonna delete all the. I'm gonna delete the JavaScript inside this project that is attached to the cube now what you need uh, in your project is a cube a 3d tree I'm just removing the uh, scripts from the tree and make sure and you also need the uh, canvas bring in the canvas inside the canvas bring in the text make sure on the inspector make sure the text has nothing in it delete everything otherwise if you have something in it like let's say like this and then you know uh, the text will show up always so you'll have uh, issues so make sure you delete that text from there because we're gonna uh, input text through the code inside this box okay um, and of course you need a player as well so a cube cube you bring in the cube make sure the cube is a trigger checked marked all right so if you don't know how to bring a cube just click right click on uh, under the hierarchy right click on it uh, find 3d object find a cube click on the cube oh, I mean uh, make sure that is under the inspector is trigger is check mark mesh render take that out remove component and that's about it then you bring in the tree like this one after you bring in the tree all right make sure you scale down the tree all right you do not want to work with the tree that is uh, with the original scale unless the original scale is this big you know this is really small you know, when, you, when you look at it this tree is really small compared to the uh, player here so bring in your tree scale it down the X Y and Z axis mine is 0 0.02 uh, X axis Y axis 0 0.02 and Z axis 0 0.02 once you do that grab the tree and drag and drop it onto the cube that will make the tree a, a child of the cube and you'll see why in a minute why that is well in this uh, uh, tutorial series you'll, you'll see why that is alright so for the tree we'll need the uh, uh, JavaScript I mean uh, C sharp uh, file to work on it and we're gonna call it well let's delete this we're gonna call it a We're gonna call it uh, tree growth or growing a tree. Let's call it something like that. Create JavaScript. No, not JavaScript. Like oh, C sharp. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I just made a video in, in JavaScript and I uh, JavaScript is in my on my mind for some reason and. I have to focus on a C sharp and call it something. All right, we're gonna call um, 
there's a tree growing or growing a tree grow green tree something like that okay open up the C sharp file and start function we might not need it but we're gonna need the update function uh, for the variables we need a time value no not the time value I mean the max growth of the tree so uh, it has to be public so we can adjust it in the inspector so public public uh, what's gonna be a float float Max growth, max growth equals equals. Um, we can uh, have it under one float semicolon. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing here is looking at the JavaScript here since I'm you know very new to C sharp and I'm gonna be trying to convert a JavaScript file into the C sharp pretty much JavaScript uh, uh, a program um, code into the C sharp code so uh, I see here we don't need the uh, uh, start so delete that we don't need it okay next thing we knew, do need is a speed growth so again it's going to be public um, public float speed growth is equal to uh, one point that and then semicolon oh it's actually f and then semicolon all right <coughs> that's pretty much it for that for the update well we have to think about what what, we, what are we trying to accomplish we're trying to make the tree make this tree here all right grow how we're gonna do that is by scaling by scaling it scaling its X Y and Z axis so to do that we're gonna type in trans trans transform right transform is it on transform that local scale all right and I believe it's and then we have to pretty much put it into a vector now how to do that is we're gonna have to go back up here and uh, bring in the the variable vector vector 3 and call it something reference it to a let's say temporary scale All right so temp scale and semicolon and now under update we're gonna put it into the the transform local scale we're gonna put it into the temp Temp scale. Okay, we're gonna put it into the temp scale, 